Well, to see Black Lives Matter leader Mark Fisher to now endorse Donald J. Trump for president of the United States of America is a big thing. I mean, this is just simply showing how black men in America are seeing themselves through the two-tiered injustice system that is happening to Donald J. Trump by the Joe Biden administration. I mean, this is something that has been happening to black men for 400 years, and yet we're seeing it happening to a former president of the United States of America. Uh, the fact that famed rapper Waka Flocka just endorsed Donald Trump, and you're seeing other notable black men and women in this nation that are now speaking up positively over Donald Trump for president of the United States of America. The president uh, is not fighting for one race. He's fighting for the American race. And this is why he's becoming so popular amongst all races in this nation, but particularly the black community. The How do you take a new group of people that have paid no taxes, can't vote, and you put them in front of the voters? We're going to show you how, how we feel about the Democratic It doesn't matter anymore which party we go with. But I'll tell you this, I'd rather deal with the snake that's outfitting himself of the Republican Party than the snake that's covered up in the Democrat. Welcome back to The Furnished Mind. And remember, Christ is king. Let's go. Uh, so main top election official moves Trump from the state's 2024 ballots. Um, if you guys are pondering what this means, this is a big issue. Um, I know people are throwing it around that we're uh, transitioning to a banana republic, and it seems that may be the case. Um, whether or not we like our elected officials, um, that's one thing. We have the freedom of speech in our country. Our First Amendment grants us that uh, freedom of press. Um, we can write about that as well. But the one thing we cannot do is utilize our government and weaponize it um, to attack our political opponents. And that's what we see going on now. Um, uh, first, it was Colorado um, that removed Trump. And now the state of Maine is removing Trump. Um, if you guys do not think this is an issue, you need to start paying attention. Um, so the main Secretary of State, Shannon Bellows, uh, disqualified former President Trump from the state's 2024 presidential primary ballot on Thursday, citing Section 3 of the U.S. Constitution's 14th Amendment. So Maine is now the second state uh, to remove Trump from the ballot, joining Colorado, which removed Trump from the ballot under the same constitutional provision on December 19th. So in the 34-page decision released late Thursday, Bellows wrote, I'm mindful that no Secretary of State has ever deprived a presidential candidate of ballot access based on Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. I am also mindful, however, that no presidential candidate has ever before engaged in insurrection. So already we know this is um, an argument. This is a case made on shaky ground. All this is going to do is buy time because it's going to be overthrown. But to them, it's okay because it's a chess move. Um, Trump has ever been um, found guilty of inciting an insurrection. If it, it's been investigated, uh, TV's amplified it, all the legacy news stations have amplified it. What people need to understand that <clears throat> for the, the reason for this season in Trump's life is because he's standing up to um, the global blueprint that already exists. Um, a lot of people are unaware of this. They think it's just left versus right. Um, if you don't pay attention to your Bibles, if you don't start reading your Bibles and understand the direction the world is going in, all this can seem confusing. Uh, but if you are in the Word, if you are paying attention to Scripture, you understand that these tactics are not um, man-made tactics. They're texts of the enemy, of the devil. Um, the Bible tells us in the book of Revelation that we're going to transition into a one-world government. So there are globalists out there who are trying to accelerate the process. Um, and Trump literally stood in the way of that. That was the only reason why they want to see him destroyed. Um, it, they In 2016, everybody thought Hillary Clinton, including herself, was going to win, but she didn't. And it was a surprise to her why. It's most likely because she they believed they cheated and it was a sure shot for her to win, but it didn't happen. In fact, not only did she lose, um, they spent from 2016 to 2020, um, claiming that the only reason Trump won was because of Russian interference, because they could not accept the fact that how on earth did we lose with a foolproof plan? Clinton was supposed to come in and accelerate the uh, global agenda exponentially. Um, so a lot of the issues we're seeing with um, immigration, our immigration crisis on the border, that's all by plan. Inflation, that's all by plan. The, t uh, the deterioration of our education system for K through 12 and university all by plan. And we have to be paying attention to this. 
So under Maine election law, the Secretary of State is responsible for determining whether a political candidate's petition meets both statutory and constitutional requirements um, under Section 337. Uh, Maine voters are permitted to bring challenges against political candidates' petitions. If the Secretary of State finds that the challenge is valid and rules against the political candidate, their petition is revoked. And that's what we're seeing here. So what are the chances we see just about all the blue states in our country um, revoke Trump? Um, it's very, it's, it's plausible. We can see that happen. It may not be all of them, but it'll be just enough to where it will slow him down that he won't be re uh, ready and prepared for the 2024 election season. So once again, why is this an issue? If you don't like Trump, it's an issue because it's the precedent that they're um, establishing. Um, what separates us from a banana republic? It's the fact that we have a transparent dem uh, democratic voting process that works. Whether or not you like a candidate or you do like them, they're allowed to run and they're allowed to run without harm and uh, danger to their life. And that's the kind of voting process we want to see. Um, because if we don't, what's going to separate us from any other uh, country such as uh, China or Russia, where if uh, anybody runs against President Xi in China, they disappear. They they just somehow disappear. Their records are gone. Somebody um, runs against Vladimir Putin in Russia, they disappear. Records disappear. That person's just gone. There are nations that exist on our planet right now where they don't allow for transparency in the voting process. Political opponents disappear. And that's a frightening situation to find yourself into. And they want to convince you that is the appropriate decision. Um, they're going to convince you it's it's not an issue because this person uses violent speech. They don't use our approved pronouns or language. Uh, they don't have our position. Therefore, it's okay that we remove them from the, uh, from the ballot because their image and their likeness is only going to incite violence. That's what they're going to start teaching you um, in this George Orwellian future we have right around the corner. Um, but... Obviously, I have uh, Vivek uh, Ramaswamy in the background. Let's go ahead and listen to what he has to say um, on this issue. Sometimes the truth hurts. That's when it's most important to see it. What they're doing to Donald Trump right now in Maine, you see the news today, it's unconstitutional, it's anti-American, it's wrong. I'm doing everything I can to stand against it. I'm the only candidate in this race who has said, I will remove my name from any ballot where they remove Trump as well. But we gotta open our eyes to the fact that they're not gonna let this man get anywhere near that finish line. That's the hard truth. We can't fall for their trap. They're selling us the rope today that they will use to hang us tomorrow. All I'm asking you to do is to open your eyes right now. See what's going on. They have fooled us time and again. Fool me once, shame on them. Fool me twice, shame on us. Open your eyes, people. If you see what I see, then you understand that next year isn't what they're selling you. It's going to be something. It's going to be something else altogether. Get ready for it. Now, guys, if you're not paying attention to what Vivek is talking about here, um, another uh, presidential candidate hopeful, um, we're being fooled, and 2024 is not going to look like what you believe it's going to look like. Um, it's up to us, the U.S. citizens, to stand up and fight for our uh, constitutional republic. If we do not stand up and fight for our nation, um, it's going to, the keys are going to be handed over uh, to thieves, uh, to crooks, um, and killers. And unfortunately, we're standing by and we're watching it, waiting for somebody else to step in. Guys, this is not a Marvel movie. There's no superhero that's going to step in and fight our battles for us. The Declaration of Independence allows us, of course, it says that if, uh, if our government ever oversteps its bounds and becomes us usurpatious in, nat uh, in nature, we are allowed to stand up, overthrow it, and establish another working government. I don't know when you guys think that time is. Um, I think our government has overstepped its, its bounds already, uh, by a mile, I'll say. Uh, but the question is, who's going to stand up and uh, fight what's going on? It may seem like Mission Impossible, but it's a necessary um, struggle that we might have to put upon our shoulders and see it through. But with that being said, um, you guys let me know your comments. I mean, what do you guys think? Who cares about Trump? Does it even matter? It's Trump. We don't like him. Or is this us watching front row seats of deterioration of our very country, our our home? Does Our home doesn't have to be perfect, but it's our home. Um, you guys let me know what you think.